What's up guys, welcome to the channel where we talk about cryptocurrencies and blockchain. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the videos on the channel. And if you haven't already, make sure you follow me on Instagram where recently IGTV came out. I'm planning to run a little video series on there, fast paced, Instagram style videos about cryptocurrency, little reviews, uh, little tips here and there about blockchain. Make sure you follow me at Dom's Crypto. That's at Dom's Crypto on Instagram. So in today's video, we'll be doing a little crypto project comparison. What are these projects about? What is so significant about them? We're going to be comparing IoT chain, IOTA and VChain. All of those crypto projects are involved in the IoT sphere. So Internet of Things. What is Internet of Things? It's basically every product around us that has internet connected to it. It is able then to communicate with other devices which are also connected by internet. The huge problem of this, of IoT in general, is security. Security against hackers, security against uh, your data being breached. So these projects, their goal is to sort out that issue. Is IoT definitely the future? We currently have over 2 billion uh, IoT devices around the world. And this number is set to go up to 3 billion uh, within two years. So definitely a huge potential for these projects to be a core of this development. Just to give you a quick better overview of what IoT is, of what Internet of Things is, imagine uh, you're driving a car, you don't even need to touch the wheel, it drives by itself, it uh, goes to your house, the gate opens by itself because it knows it's you. You come into the house, everything fires up, uh, your heating comes on, you don't need to say anything, you don't need to do anything because the house already knows it's you because it's connected to the internet. Your coffee machine comes on, your toaster, I don't know, your washing machine comes on. These things could talk to each other and communicate in the way that would help you go about your day. But Internet of Things could also allow sharing economy, which we're going to talk about later on in the video. So. The three projects that we're going to be talking about today is IoT Chain, IOTA and VChain. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go through very key points of these projects and then we're going to talk about comparing those and see how they are different to each other or how they are similar. Let's see about the first one which is IoT Chain. It's a high security chain. One of the main goals is to keep IoT, Internet of Things, secure and uh, safe to use. It's a light IoT OS. So this uh, IoT chain. So IoT chain will allow those uh, Internet of Things appliances and things around you to communicate using their operating system. OS stands for uh, operating system. It's a decentralized sharing economy. So what this would allow is sharing your car or any goods that you feel could be shared with other people using decentralized sharing economy. So cutting out the middleman, which are like agencies or rental companies. IoT chain is also uh, rewarding the end user. So let's say you have been uh, driving your car, you've been using one of those IoT devices and data is being stored about you, about what internet sites you're browsing, for example, on the internet or where you're driving. Uh, you've got a GPS tracker on your, on your car, which is uh, tracking you. This data is always being stored right now and nobody is getting rewarded for it. A good example of this is when you search up on Google a mattress or I don't know, a coffee machine and then all of a sudden for some reason you start seeing ads about that product. This is because your data was stored and then used by the marketing agencies or marketing people to create adverts based on your search results. So IoT chain would allow you to get incentive for sharing your data. So you'd have a choice if you want to share it or not. If you do, you'll get something back for it, which is great. AI data ownership. The AI, which is uh, artificial intelligence industry, is developing rapidly. Everyone seems to talk about AI and how it's gonna change our world. The traditional AI model has gaps in training data. This is because of the difficulty in collecting high quality, deep learning data. Data isolation is common and the high quality multi-dimensional data required for AI calculation is often monopolized and controlled by centralized platforms. This impacts uh, the development and innovation in AI very massively. So using IoT chain, uh, data ownership is returned to users and data is stored in distributed systems. Users can freely authorize data transactions, therefore removing 
centralized control. Also, thanks to the technical abilities of the IoT chain microchip, large amounts of data are collected directly by the hardware module, which ensures creditable, high quality data. The rich usage scenarios of the Internet of Things generate a vast amount of multi-dimensional data. The IoT chain data classification scheme allows users to select in which scenarios data is distributed. So you get to choose which uh, stream uses your own data. Through authorized decryption processing, vertical industries have access to the big multi-dimensional data necessary for AI calculations. So this is how uh, IoT Chain is sorting out AI data ownership problem. IoT Chain is also user friendly. It's a plug and use solution, uh, a bit different than IOTA, which we're going to talk about in a second and compare those two. It also has room for growth. It's a relatively new project. It's got great potential and also a huge amount of growth is possible with this project. So make sure you keep an eye on it. IoT Chain is also trying to sort out the financial solution. Uh, so in a trade in a traditional financial service model, small, medium uh, and micro businesses and entities cannot demonstrate their credit capabilities uh, due to lack of appropriate collateral. They are then unable to take advantage of conventional financial services. And IoT Chain enables creditable, inclusive financial solutions for asset digitalization and creditization. Both upstream and downstream entities can contribute equally in data sharing, including key items such as operating assets, inventory orders, transactions, invoices, logistics and cash flow. So IoT Chain is trying so to sort out financial solution as well. So let's move on to IOTA. It's also a high security system that wants to make sure IoT is secure and safe to use. One of the goals of IOTA is to bring smart cities, uh, cities that are connected with everything around you uh, to collect data, to make your life easier, to connect everything and make sure you've got the greatest experience ever. Uh, this is what smart cities is gonna bring. Sharing economy, so these guys also want to allow you to share your car, your appliances, anything around you that you don't need at the moment could be shared with other users uh, as an incentive-based economy. Also removing the so-called middleman or agencies. Trading data marketplace, so these guys want to uh, make a marketplace where you could go on to and exactly choose where your data is distributed. You could literally go into the, like an eBay, and then sell your data to different agencies, different groups. IOTA is also a very technical, very academic project. You need to know a bit about blockchain and how it works in order to use IOTA. It's a well-established project. It's been around for a while. These guys know what they're doing. They are also very popular in the community. I'm sure you've heard of them before. IOTA is a huge player on the market. These guys also want to bring in secure e-health, which will make sure your data about your health, your medicine, is being stored very securely and you get to choose what happens with it. So the last project on the list is called VeChain. VeChain is a little bit different than the previous two, which are kind of similar and comp are competing for the IoT market. VeChain is a high security system. It uses product security, uh, by using little NFC chips to determine which products are which. Uh, this helps, for example, in the wine industry, uh, where you know exactly that you're getting the right wine, you know which products are legit. For example, in the clothing industry, these guys have little NFC chips in the products that allows you to uh, find out if those products are real if they're not counterfeited, therefore you don't get cheated by someone and you don't lose your money for paying for products that are not legit. It's got an IoT agriculture use, so it, it's to do with crops. The uh, farmers could use this to uh, determine which crops are ready to harvest and exactly what happens with, with the food packed up and distributed all around the world. It could get tagged, therefore all the information right from the farm all the way up to the uh, marketplace or a shop would be tracked so you know exactly where this product came from. Its goal is also to help logistics. If everything is tagged and you can track everything, it's easier for logistics to happen. It's easier to move things around in a very easy fashion. I was also thinking that this VeChain technology could kind of help ITC and IOTA maybe and work with these guys. If we have everything tagged and more and more things are coming onto Internet of Things and are connected to each other, then you could 
very easily make them speak to each other and develop a huge system, a huge thing that works together in order to bring in great information, secure purchases and great sharing economy to the users. Food and medicine safety. So because we've got everything tagged, you know exactly where the medicine came from. You don't make mistakes of uh, taking different medicine than you have to, uh, which is great because many people um, get sick or even lose their lives because they took the wrong, the wrong medicine. So this could save many lives even. VeChain also has an auto solution. So this is to do with your car. VeChain creates a digital profile for each car based on its unique ID. For example, it allows authorized car workshops to update the status of repair or maintenance done uh, onto the digital logbook. So if we had digital logbooks and NFC chips on the cars or uh, some unique ID uh, on every car, then you can't cheat the system. You can't sell a car with no service for example or lie to people you can't take advantage of people therefore your purchases of cars and things of that nature are more secure and you don't get cheated so these were the three projects that are very similar to each other uh, in tackling the iot sphere iot chain and iota are definitely the main rivals in the sphere of iot and they differ quite significantly because iot chain is uh, an easy platform to use it's a plug and use platform whereas IOTA is a bit more technical and you need to have an understanding of blockchain itself. So definitely let me know which one of these projects is the most exciting for you. Also I'm running a little competition for you guys. So the question of the day is what IOT scenario excites you the most? So you know how I was talking about you pulling up in a car and your toaster comes on, your coffee machine comes on. Let me know which scenario excites you the most what are you looking most forward to? And then the giveaway itself, it's $50 in ETH uh, for the best answer. So make sure you drop an answer and also your wallet address for Ethereum so I can transfer you the money. Make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all the videos coming up and follow me on Instagram where I'll be running more IGTV videos about crypto. See you in the next one.